Here at Microsoft, we develop artificial intelligence for robots. We use machine learning and vision technology, um, and this allows us to be able to automate things that would be close to impossible to automate with traditional robotic technology. For example, in the case of the can picking task, the cans are always in a different position. Normally, robots wouldn't be able to deal with this variance, but with our system, they are able to. At the moment, our technology is mostly used in production settings. Um, our goal is to expand and to allow customers to be more resilient and efficient in their production, and to also free up workers to do work that's more fulfilling and creative. Every time you see the system running, you see you know, a glow in, in the eyes of the customer, and uh, it's, it's like they see a magic trick. And uh, it was the same feeling for me, by the way. When um, they showed me the product the first time, I had a special feeling in my belly. And I see that customers have the same feeling. And yeah, this makes it really exciting. Microps Industries is a machine learning company and we're trying to make sure that it's not just the machines who learn here. We're really all about learning. Uh, it's the product, which uh, is probably the only one in the whole robotic industry where you take the AI to the customer and you know, it's supposed to learn on the customer side. It's not us who teaches the robots, um, it's uh, the customers who do it. And we're also looking for people who would like to learn and we're actively hiring people uh, where we get the impression here's somebody out there who's still curious and uh, who wants to understand you know, new things. We really try to hire people that, number one, the company can learn from, but also people that are interested in learning themselves and so will come and be happy to be in a place where this is like a requirement almost. Generally, I think in the company we have a lot of growth opportunities and opportunities to learn uh, within the team, outside the team. Um, I think that's, that's great and that's one of the reasons that why we would also ask everyone to join us and work with us. If you assume that you can do the impossible, you actually get further than if you held like the truthful belief that you cannot do the impossible, which is obviously you can't do the impossible, right? But, but that was an unexpected learning from here, from something that I learned from an early colleague where at the beginning I was like, why the heck is he, does he think he can do that? It's mathematically impossible. <laughs> and then you, you roll along and you see, ah, it helped us anyway. We like solving problems just a tiny bit too hard because that you know, makes it interesting for us and it creates value for the company. It sort of forces you to engage with things that you didn't do before. And both in the technology, but also just in you know, practices, like how do we work together? What I really like about this company is you have different types of personalities here and different experts in every field. Everybody is really good in what he is doing. But also on the other hand, we are totally different, but uh, super positive and there's a really good vibe in this company and people, everybody's different somehow, but connected in a way. And this makes it really special for me. Our headquarters is in Berlin. We also have offices in San Francisco, in Brooklyn and in Zurich. And our team does have a broad variety of backgrounds. That's why we implemented a hybrid work model, which allows them to individually decide how they want to work and from where. We also implemented a working from abroad policy, which allows them to work from abroad for a specific amount of time per year. If you imagine a future that's full of robots, right? They're everywhere, they're completely ubiquitous, and they do all the things they do in science fiction, all the silly stuff that in reality, maybe they do, maybe they don't. So, you know, they do your dishes and they take care of the elderly and Lieutenant Commander Data is basically running the enterprise. It's completely clear that the movements those robots make are not pre-programmed, right? They are generated live while the robots are moving from sensory data. And the infrastructure, to be able to do that 
not just in industry, but in the, you know, in, in the wider world, we're beginning to build with the uh, trainable live motion generation uh, with AI that we're doing uh, with our current product. So in the future, when you know, some of this happens and some more things that we don't anticipate and some of the things that we anticipate won't happen, but in that future, the infrastructure, the machine learning infrastructure, the cloud to do the number crunching and the control logic to operate the robots will be provided by Microsoft Industries.